Syrian United Nations envoy says cooperation with the Syrian government is the only way to make the humanitarian aid reach stricken areas and not the terrorists. Units of the Syrian army launched wide-scale military operations against terrorist gatherings in uh, killing scores of them and wounding others. And the Vice Guard group says the ISIS terrorist organization constitutes a serious danger to the whole world. Good afternoon, this is News in English from the Syrian Art Television in Damascus. Syria's permanent envoy at the United Nations, Dr. Bashar al-Jafari, affirmed that if support for terrorism continues and foreign terrorists continue to come to Syria, the crisis will aggravate and spread in the region and the world as a whole. During a special session held at the United Nations General Assembly on the humanitarian aid, Dr. Al-Jafari stressed that the Syrian government was carrying out its duties in combating terrorism, referring that cooperation with the Syrian government is the only way to make the humanitarian aid reach stricken areas. He criticized the attempts made by some states to politicize the file of the humanitarian aid through supporting terrorism under the disguise of humanitarian filing. The United States Defending Democracies Research Foundation said that Qatari authorities are still supporting the terrorist organizations in the Middle East, especially the ISIS. In a report recently published by the Washington Times newspaper, the foundation said that the Qatari finance of terrorism constitutes a pressing crisis on the world as a whole, referring that Doha joining of Washington's coalition to combat terrorism was formal only. The report added that the Qatari Abdurrahman al-Mu'ani, who was put on the blacklist by the United Nations and the EU because of his funding of al-Qaeda organization, is still moving freely in Qatar because of his close relations with the ruling family. Russia's Deputy Foreign Minister Gennady Gatilov stressed that the successes in the battle against the Islamic State in Iraq and the Levant ISIS terrorist organization in Syria and Iraq could be possible only through unifying efforts and coordination with the governments in both countries. During a meeting with the Swedish ambassador in Moscow, Veronika Pard Pringos, the two sides discussed means of settling disputes in the Middle East and North Africa. They expressed concern over the current situation in Syria and the Palestinian-Israeli conflict, stressing the need for launching negotiations and finding common ground among all participants in the peace process. Earlier, Russian Foreign Ministry criticized the modest results of the anti-ISIS coalition, affirming that the Syrian government is bearing the brunt of combating terrorism that poses a threat to the Middle East region. Democratic members of the United Nations Senate expressed rejection for launching a United States ground war against ISIS. Earlier, the Foreign Affairs Committee at the Senate adopted a draft law that allows the use of military force against ISIS. Head of the committee, Robert Mendez, said that land forces might be deployed, but they should not be American. <laughs> Units of the Syrian Arab Army and Armed Forces killed terrorists and injured others and in destroying a tractor loaded with weapons and ammunition in the west of Azara in a Rustan area in the countryside of the central province of Homs. Armenians also eliminated a number of terrorists in the villages of Salam Gharbi and as in the eastern countryside of Homs. Other army units continued chasing down fleeing members of the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria ISIS in the area surrounding Ashar Mountain, inflicting heavy losses upon them. While in Deir Zor, a Syrian army unit destroyed a vehicle uh, made to be a car bomb before it could reach a military checkpoint in the area surrounding Deir Zor airport and airbase. Large numbers of terrorists were killed and other wounded, wounded in Al Mriya and Hwajid Al Mriya in the city. Israeli forces of occupation have transferred two terrorists who were wounded in Syria to Boria Hospital in Tiberias to be treated. This hospital has treated before more than 127 terrorists. The medical treatment for terrorists is one aspect of the Israeli Occupation Authority's cooperation and support for the terrorist organization operating in Syria. The Iraqi forces restored Al-Jumeirah area back after clashes with the ISIS terrorists. 
This military operation resulted in a killing of a number of terrorists, including five leaders, while the rest of them ran away to the neighboring areas. In addition to other clashes that erupted in Ramadi as Sumara, that resulted in the killing of one of the most important and famous terrorist leaders of ISIS named Firas al Nasiri. Going to Lebanon, where security forces seized the wife of Abu Ali al Shishani, brother in al Biqa. On the other hand, a unit of the Lebanese army arrested two terrorists in Hnein town while they were suspected in attacking army soldiers, in addition to arresting two extremists in Tripoli and Saidun. The chairman of the West Guard Group stressed that ISIS is a serious danger that threatens the whole world. Condemning their barbarian practices in Syria and Iraq, moreover, during a bilateral statement published in Bragg, they referred that the murders committed by the ISIS terrorist organization in Iraq and Syria is barbaric and disgusting, causing the suffering of the people of these countries. Because of discovering his involvement in the corruption crimes, Erdogan ordered the arrest of 15 journalists. Furthermore, Zaman Journal website asserted that Erdogan's government is preparing to carry out extensive arrest operations against 400 people, including 150 journalists, in retaliation for their publishing news talking about the corruption and bribery crimes last year. Activities have been held on the occasion of the International Day on the Elimination of Violence Against Women under the motto Ashtar's Scream is the Cause of the Homeland. Highlighting Syrian women's role in society, particularly following the acts of killing and rape they have been exposed to at the hands of terrorists who have wreaked havoc throughout the country. Under the title, Ashtar's Scream is the Cause of a Homeland, activities were held at the Arab Cultural Center in Kafar Suse in Damascus on the occasion of the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women. They are sponsored by the Ministry of Social Affairs with the participation of officials, journalists, clerics and a number of Syrian women. We created with a number of friends, we created this uh, association uh, uh, Ashtar Descendants. Uh, why Ashtar? Because uh, Ashtar is a, uh, uh, a Syrian goddess. Well, I do believe that this is uh, part of our war now because uh, most of it is uh, cultural and the, the ignorance uh, of the uh, role of the women in the society has been, you know, made the society lose lots of, uh, lots of its values and the half of it because the woman is totally discarded by, by the mentality which is, you know, built up. Because of the savage war against Syria, a war that has also targeted Syria's people, civilization and economy, the need emerges to rebuild culture, values and ethics on the basis of joint citizenship and equal opportunities among all components of the Syrian people.
دور دور المراه خلال خلال هذه الازمه اللي نعيشها هنا في سوريا نرى the role of Syrian women in these circumstances is very effective we are the grandchildren of Ashtar and all those women that history wrote about who are symbols of civilization heroism and the humanity when we think about all these achievements ancient women did many centuries ago we see the same image reflected in our women nowadays particularly during this savage war The violence, rape, and compulsory immigration perpetrated on women by the terrorists must be stopped in order for women to regain their self-respect and enhance their image at all levels. With this, we conclude our news for today. Thank you for watching. For more details about Syria and the region, and to view the schools, and again, you can always visit our website in English, www.syrianonline.sy. Now, the latest business and market news with Nariman, but after a short break.